master of disguise whose victims included his own parents. Today, things took a strange turn as the scam artist learned his punishment and faced the people he wronged. And it's a scam Team 10 first reported nearly three years ago. Good evening. I'm Steve Atkinson. And I'm Kimberly Hunt. Today, we were the only television station in the courtroom as Tyler Adams asked the judge to go easy on him. Team 10 investigator Allison Ash is live with a bizarre way that Adams says he wants to pay his debt to society. Allison? Yeah, Tyler Adams was his own lawyer here in Vista Court today, and that kept everybody guessing about what kind of move he might make next. Now, he tried to use some, uh, some of the very same charm that got him into trouble in the first place, but it did not work here. I got into real estate because I wanted to help families secure their homes in a manner that gave them more money to spend on their families. Even though he's already admitted guilt, 40-year-old Tyler Adams, with a bandage on his nose, tried to convince the judge that he meant well. I've always tried to be a righteous person, especially when it came to my family and friends. But Adams wasn't righteous with his own stepfather, seen here in a video played in court. He said that uh, he had all the money that he needed, but he needed better credit. His stepfather gave Adams his personal information so he could make a real estate deal. Little did he know that information would be used to steal his identity and ruin his credit. His stepfather told how it ruined his life. And Adams broke down in tears. I'd like to cash this check here. Adams' story is similar to the one told in the movie Catch Me If You Can, where Leonardo DiCaprio changes identities to cheat people out of their money. In Adams' case, it was usually real estate deals, homes he bought using other people's money. He carried several ID cards using disguises and other people's names. He told me how he was in the construction business and uh, that he was uh, doing green construction. But he wasn't a contractor. He was a con artist on the take for an estimated $3 million. Adams asked the judge to give him probation and said he wants to counsel kids on the evils of drugs and violence. I want to give back. I want to, I want to help kids. And it'll be a while before he'll be able to do any of that counseling. That's because he was sentenced today to 14 years in prison and he says that he will appeal that sentence. We're live in Vista, Allison Ash, 10 News.